20 past 7. Now, the route to the proposed high-speed rail line through Warwickshire has been changed. The government has revised its plans after protests from villagers who live nearby. It's all in an attempt to reduce the project's impact on local people and the environment. Jeremy Wright is the MP for Kenilworth and South. Have you seen the latest proposals? Morning, Jeremy. Good morning. But just talk us through what you've seen then. Well, what I've seen is some revised plans and maps, as well as a description of how the route will change. And in effect, there are three areas where there are, I think, significant improvements. The first is Burton Green, where the line will go deeper and will go in a tunnel rather than in the cutting they have planned now. The second is Ladbroke, the village of Ladbroke, where the line moves further away from the village. And the third is Stonely, where again the line moves further away from the village and instead runs through the National Agricultural Centre. OK, I mean, because there was always talk of the fact that it might well run through the National Agricultural Centre, so that's an absolute given now that definitely will happen. Well, that's, that's what uh, the company, the government has commissioned, the last government commissioned to design a route, High Speed 2 Limited, is now recommending as the preferred route. So, yes, if that preferred route is adopted, then that's what it will now look like. Now, of course, the argument continues as to whether that should be the preferred route, and I continue to say, as do many other people, that the route should really move much more significantly than that and should follow an existing transport corridor where there's already blight. But it's important also to make the arguments for changes to the existing preferred route, if it is to be adopted, to minimise the damage to residential areas. And I think what we've succeeded in doing here is making some changes to the existing preferred route, which make it better than it was before. OK, so just run, let's just run through this again, uh, through those again if we can, just uh, for, the, for, for a moment. Burton Green, uh, the route uh, runs through a tunnel uh, nearby. Uh, Ladbrook, it goes all further away from the village, and uh, Stoney again further away from the village, but through the National Agricultural Centre. Problem being with, with these schemes is that, is that someone, somewhere, it just displaces the problem, doesn't it? So, for example, if in Burton, say Ladbrook, for example, you, it gets moved further away from the village, it's going to get nearer someone else, isn't it? You can't please everyone. You're absolutely right, and if you move a line, just as you say, it gets further from some people, it gets closer to others. But my judgment, and I, I didn't have long to scrutinise these plans, and we'll see them, I think, in more detail in a couple of weeks' time, but my estimation was that this is, on balance, good news. It does move it closer to some, but it certainly moves it closer to fewer people, and it moves it away from. If you take Ladbroke as an example, uh, it moves it further away from the village of Ladbroke, but closer to Southern. But the part of Southern it moves it closer to is almost exclusively industrial estates. So we're not talking about a direct impact on as many residential people as benefit from moving it away from Ladbrook. What about the future of the National Agricultural Centre? There's only a bit of a question mark about if you've got a great big high-speed rail line carving its way through the centre. Well, I have to say, I think it's disappointing that we're not further along in the redevelopment of the National Agricultural Centre than we are. I think most of us had hoped that we would have a clearly defined scheme for the future of that site, which would promote it as what I believe it should be, which is a centre of uh, agricultural and rural excellence for the nation as a whole. But we're not as far along as we should be. And in any event, I think it's important to argue that if the line is to run through the National Agricultural Centre, appropriate compensation is made and that we link the two remaining parts of the site as closely together as we can with overbridges or the like. But it's, I think, very difficult to say that if we are left with this choice, it is better to run a line through a residential area and then through what is effectively a potential business area. So this is a question of the least worst option at the moment. And as I say, this is not the same thing as saying we are satisfied with this it's as far as we're going to go and we won't make any further arguments. You have to do several things at once. Okay. One is to argue on the specific route that's currently on the table. But secondly, you also have to make an argument that the route should move completely. And this is only on stage one of that. Just briefly to finish with, Jeremy, you've seen these plans as part of a private meeting. When, they, when do they go on display so that everyone can have a look? Well, my understanding is that the information in writing will go on the relevant websites today and that the plans will be available for everyone to see in a couple of weeks. But it's good news that as a result of submissions a lot of us have made, the government is prepared to listen. And I think that's an optimistic sign for the future as we continue to make representations.
representations. Okay, thanks a lot for your time this morning. Good to, good to speak to you, Jeremy Wright, the MP for Kenilworth and Sandham. And just worth recapping on those uh, proposals as they stand, these are the changes. Then the route would go uh, through a tunnel near Burton Green, further away from the village of Ladbrook near Southam. And uh, as you said, Jeremy, say they're near the town of Southam itself, but an industrial area. And uh, Stoneleigh, away from the village, but through the National Agricultural Centre.